Yeah, and we do want to warn you that some of what you're about to hear may be disturbing for some viewers. Now, during opening arguments, while prosecutors focused on the women giving graphic details of the alleged rapes, the defense questioned the women's credibility. All of the alleged victims are expected to testify. He took what he wanted, not from one, not from two, but three women. Inside a Vista courtroom, Deputy District Attorney Dan Owens laid out the rape allegations against former San Diego Charger Kellen Winslow II. She said she was too afraid to scream. She knew that she was going to die. The 35-year-old former football star is accused of raping three women and exposing himself to two others. And she remembers saying no, 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 repeatedly. But the defendant did not stop. One by one, Owens told the jury in graphic detail about what each woman said happened to them. She's going to tell you that the defendant told her, if you don't do whatever I want you to, I'm going to kill you right here. Owens also explained why some of the women said they didn't come forward sooner. She was scared. She was afraid. Winslow II has never denied having sex with the women, but denies it was rape. Kellen Winslow's been honest from the start over a year ago. He admitted he had consensual sex with those accusers. Defense attorney Brian Watkins told the jury some of the women had changed their stories and their statements to police. We find out later that we learn that, oh yeah, they did talk about having sex for money. Of course, that comes out months after her original statement to the police. He went on to claim the alleged victims knew of the defendant's celebrity status and only came forward after all the media attention surrounding the case. One of the key things here is when you're in the spotlight, people want things from you. And that's just the way it is. Watkins asked the jury to focus on the evidence presented and to not be swayed by Winslow II's cheating ways. It's wrong, it's immoral, but it is not illegal. And the trial is scheduled to resume tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. If convicted, Winslow II could face life in prison.